Good morning, fifth grade. We are going to continue reading in our novel, Esperanza Rising, and we're in chapter five. Before we get started, we have a quick write. It says, have you ever refused to do something because it scared you? What emotions did you feel when this happened? Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the focus question. It says, how does Esperanza respond to challenges while on her journey to the United States? How do these life events compare to her past life events? And we are, we want to be able to compare two events within a story and recognize significant life changes for a character. Our vocabulary words are renegade, and that is someone who doesn't follow the law like a delinquent. A, um, the next word is persistent, and that's when you um, are continuously firm in whatever it is that you want to do, like you do not give up even when it's difficult or hard. And so we would say that this plant is persistent because it broke through the hard ground, um, and, and that was something that's really difficult. And then the last word is gleamed, and that's to shine light or to be really bright. So the sun is gleaming in this picture. Go ahead and turn the page. And as we're reading chapter 5, we want to collect fast evidence for Esperanza and Hortensia. So um, Esperanza's fast evidence is going to be in pink, and Hortensia's is going to be in orange. All right, let's begin reading. They emerged from the fig orchard and continued through the pear grove. When they came into a clearing, they saw Senor Rodriguez waiting with a lantern by the barn doors. They hurried inside. Pigeons fluttered in the rafters. Their wagon was waiting, surrounded by crates and green guavas. Did Marisol come? asked Esperanza, her eyes searching the barn. I could tell no one about your departure, said Senor Rodriguez. When the time is right, I will tell her that you looked for her and said goodbye. Now we must hurry. You need the protection of darkness. Alfonso Miguel and Senor Rodriguez have built another floor in the wagon, higher than the real one and open at the back, with barely enough room between for Mama Esperanza and Hortensia to lie down. Hortensia lined it with blankets. Esperanza had known about the plan, but now she hesitated when she saw the small space. Please, can I sit with Alfonso and Miguel? Mija, it is necessary, said Mama. There are too many bandits, said Alfonso. It's not safe for women to be on the roads at night. Besides, your uncles have many spies, remember? That is why we must take the wagon to Zacaticus and catch the train there instead of from Aguas Calientes. Luis has bragged about the engagement to everyone, said Hortensia. Think how angry he will, he will be when he discovers you are gone. We cannot take the chance of you being seen. Mama and Hortensia said grateful goodbyes to Senor Rodriguez, then slid between the floors of the wagon. Esperanza reluctantly stood, scooted on her back between them. When can we get out? Every, every few hours we will stop and stretch, said Mama. Esperanza stared at the wood planks for just a few inches from her face. We'll stop right there because we'll add um, this action to the fast evidence for A for Esperanza. You would write, Esperanza reluctantly scooted on her back between them. Press pause to write down your answer for the A in the fast evidence in box one and play when you're ready to keep reading. She could hear Alfonso Miguel and Senor Rodriguez dumping crate after crate of guavas onto the floor above them. 
the almonds ripe fruit rolling and tumbling as it was piled on. The guava smelled like fresh and sweet, like pears and oranges all in one. Then she felt the guavas rolling around her feet as Alfonso and Miguel covered the opening. If anyone saw the wagon on the road, it would look like a farmer and his son taking a load of fruit to market. How are you? Alfonso asked, sounding far away. We are fine, called Hortensia. The wagon pulled out of the barn and the guavas shifted, then settled in. It was dark inside and it felt like someone was rocking them in a bumpy cradle, sometimes side to side and sometimes back and forth. Esperanza began to feel frightened. She knew that with a few kicks of her feet she could get out, but still she felt trapped. Suddenly she thought she couldn't breathe. Mama! she said, gasping for air. We'll stop right there because we have some information about Esperanza. And um, for the feelings in box one, we would write down this quote at the bottom of page 60. Esperanza began to feel frightened. She knew that with a few kicks of her feet, she could get out, but she still felt trapped. Press pause to write that quote for the feeling in box one and play when you're ready to keep reading. All right, we would also write down um, this thought where it says, suddenly she thought she couldn't breathe. We'll write down that quote in the T for box one. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. And we would also write down this saying where she screams out, Mama, as she's gasping for air. Silently write that in the box for S. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. And another saying you could write down is this part on page 59 where she says, when can we get out? If you have room, you can write that down in, in the S box. All right, and for Hortensia, we have evidence um, that she says, you know, we are fine. So you can write that down in the S box for Hortensia. Press pause, write down your answer, and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're at the bottom of page 60. Right here, Esperanza, everything's fine. Do you remember, said Hortensia, taking her hand, when you were only five years old and we hid from the thieves? You were so brave for such a little girl. Your parents and Alfonso and the other servants had gone to town, and it was just you and me and Miguel in the house. We were in your bedroom, and I was pinning the hem of your beautiful blue silk dress. Do you remember that dress? You wanted it pinned higher so your new shoes would show. All right, we'll stop right there because we have some sayings from Hortensia. She's trying to help Esperanza remember a time when she was really brave, and this hopefully will take Esperanza's mind off of being trapped in the wagon. Um, and so you can write down um, this quote in the sayings box if you have room. If you don't, you can carry it over into the T box because we don't have any thoughts for Hortensia. All right, um, when you're ready, we can keep reading um, in the middle of page 61. Esperanza's Eyes were beginning to adjust to the darkness and to the pitch and roll of the wagon. And so we're seeing that as Esperanza is remembering the story, she's starting to kind of calm down. Miguel ran into the house because he had seen bandits, said Esperanza, exhaling. She remembered standing on a chair with her arms outstretched like a bird, ready for flight, while Hortensia fitted the sides of the dress. And she remembered the new shoes, shiny and black. Yes, said Hortensia. I looked out the window to see six men, their faces covered with handkerchiefs, and they all held rifles. They were renegades who thought they had permission to steal from the rich and give to the poor. But they didn't always give to the poor. They sometimes killed innocent people. 
We hid under the bed, said Esperanza, and we pulled down the bed covers so they couldn't see us. She remembered staring straight up at the bed boards, much like the boards enclosing them in the wagon now. She took another long breath. Okay, and so as Esperanza's remembering the story, she's able to um, take some deep breaths and kind of calm down. We didn't know, what we didn't know was that Miguel had a big field mouse in his pocket, said Hortensia. Yes, he was going to scare me with it said Esperanza. The wagon creaked and swayed. They could hear Alfonso and Miguel murmuring above them. The persistent smell of the guavas filled their noses. Esperanza relaxed a little. Hortensia continued. The men came into the house and we could hear them opening cupboards and stealing the silver. Then we heard them climb the stairs. Two men came into the bedroom, and we saw their big boots through the crack in the bed cover. But we didn't say a word. Top of the page. Until a pen poked me, and I moved my leg and made a noise. I was so frightened they would find us, said Hortensia. But Miguel pushed the mouse out from under the bed, and it ran around the room. The men were startled, but started laughing. And then one of them said, it's just a return. We've got plenty, let's go. And they left, said Esperanza. Mama said they took almost all the silver, but Papa and I only cared that you were safe. Do you remember how, pa how Papa said that Miguel was very smart and brave and asked him what he wanted for protecting you, his most prized possession? Esperanza remembered. Miguel wanted to go on a train ride. Hortensia started to hum softly, and Mama held Esperanza's hand. We'll stop right there. Um, we have some more evidence for Hortensia. Um, you could underline and label this part that said, I was so frightened that they would find us. And you can write that down in the feelings box for Hortensia. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for another quote. And we have this action by Hortensia where she, it says, Hortensia started to hum softly and Mama held Esperanza's hand. Press pause to write that in the actions box and play when you're ready for the character traits. All right. And so for our character traits for Esperanza, um, she is really scared to get into the wagon she actually, like, has a panic attack um, while inside because she gets claustrophobic. Um, and she makes she just makes a really big deal about getting in. She's, like, really hesitant. She asks if she can sit up at the front. It's like she really just does not understand. Um, and so one character trait we could say is that Esperanza is naive about the challenges and dangers of the journey ahead. Press pause to write down your answer for the trait and play when you're ready for another trait. Another trait we would say is that Esperanza is claustrophobic or she's afraid of small spaces and that's because she just like freaks out when she has to get in the bottom of the wagon. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the next trait. And then I would say that Esperanza is melodramatic, or she's over-emotional. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for Hortensia's traits. And it's really sweet how Hortensia responds. Um, you know, she lined the wagon with blankets. She, you know, tries to be reassuring to Esperanza. And then she just takes her mind off the whole situation by reminding Esperanza of a time when she was really brave. And so we would say that Hortensia is compassionate. And so in box four, we would say Hortensia is compassionate towards Esperanza because she tries to comfort Esperanza when she's scared. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the paragraph. It says, how does Esperanza react to being in the wagon how is her reaction different from the reaction of Hortensia 
What do their reactions reveal about them as people?